Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Michelle with Polymer Clay Amorous. And thank you for watching. I'm gonna do a pour right now. And I, I know a lot of you like the DIY um, tutorials where I show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do that. But I think what I might do is upload a second version for those of you who just wanna watch the paint pour and you can watch that. Um, with some music in the background or whatever it is um, let me know let me know which one uh, which format you guys prefer um, I've mixed all the paint I have one two three four five six seven colors um, some of these are straight up out of the tube um, and I went through those whoops uh, and I can see I need to get my gloves on before I make an even bigger mess uh, than I already have. Um, this is aquamarine or ultramarine blue. Um, this is thalo blue and thalo blue green mixed in with a tiny bit of white. This is dioxazine purple. This is um Thalo blue and aquamarine, uh, aquamarine blue. No, no. This is thalo, This is aquamarine blue and uh, dioxazine purple. And uh, this is, I think, it just um, thalo blue. Uh, anywho, this is diox and aquamarine. So the same as this one, but. Uh, this one has much more purple. This one has much more blue. Uh, okay. And then this is the white into which I have mixed. And I'm looking at this thinking I need, I need to put more in there. But we'll see how it goes. It's a small painting. Um, I mixed a little bit of the aqua, aquamarine. Uh, sorry. I mixed a little bit of the thalo blue and thalo green mixture and a little bit of dioxazine purple mixture into this the tiniest bit um so that it still reads as white but it has some of the colors from the rest of the color palette in it uh, so these are the colors i'm going to use and let's pour i'm using a flip cup method today and i'm just going to start with some white i have not put silicone uh into my paint and uh, this time i'm going to try adding the silicone directly to the flip cup um, and see how that works. So I'm gonna start with white and then I'm also gonna end with white. All right, and I'm gonna do a little spray. I oh, got that one a little bit on the side. We'll see how this works out. Uh, a little bit of spray of WD-40. You need the tiniest bit and really you're looking for just a couple of drops per um, per color and this is this is again something you, you're going to want to just experiment with. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either um, spray it into a cup like this and then use a, a tiny straw like a coffee stir straw. Um, to lift up tiny amounts of it and drop it in that way, or you can get a dropper. Um, probably be more, uh, probably be more efficient to get an actual dropper. Um, <clears throat> but today we are going to uh, be pouring, and we're going to spray a little bit in between each color. So um, there goes the, and I'm also going to put on uh, my gloves now because I'm making a mess already. Okay, the next color we're going to do is the blue green. And I'm going to try and, <clears throat> without making a huge mess, uh, this is the aquamarine, I think. 
without making a huge mess, I'm going to try and pour these from a little bit up high so that uh, there's more mixing that happens when it, when it drops into the cup. Uh, some purple. That was the lighter purple. Actually, I forgot to mention there was some white, uh, a tiny bit of white into that one. This is a straight purple. And I'm going to do more blue. Wee. I'm going to do more blue. And I forgot to do the... Thing. So I'm going to have to mix that. And then I'm going to do more white. Okay. And we made a little mess, but that's okay. Now I'm going to put the cups aside. So I have more room to um, to swirl and pour my paint. And so this is the setup. This is my flip. This is my cup. Um, <clears throat> this is a wire. Um, it's a, I think it's like a plastic covered wire um, mesh. It's meant for, it's actually by Bob Ross. It's meant for cleaning your brushes. You put this inside the turpentine, if you were to use oils. You put this inside the turpentine uh, container and you can scrub your brush on there. Uh, but I, I'm using this for the small canvases uh, just as a platform for them to dry. You want, you want some, you can put it on, up on anything. You can put it up on uh, for these cups. You can put it up on, uh, you know, what, whatever. You just want to make sure that um, you're not laying it flat on something that the paint is going to stick to. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure that the paint can pour off of the canvas um, and also to um, uh, and, and to dry in a way that it doesn't stick to everything. So it's going to might stick a little bit to this wire thing, but it's going to be on the back. Okay. Um, so here's my flip cup. I'm going to flip it by putting the canvas on top. Now I like to use a canvas board. For this because the paint uh, it's harder than a stretch canvas and so the paints a bit easier to control I have a feeling this one's gonna have a lot of white in it um, <laughs> look at that so um, I'm just gonna kind of wait for the paint to mix a little bit in there um, I like to use the canvas board instead of the stretch canvases um, because they're harder, so it's easier to control the paint, and also um, they're not gonna they're not gonna warp or uh, uh, they can get uh, loose. The canvas can get loose, and that can cause the paint to pool, and it's not gonna cure properly, and bad things will happen uh, from there. So I flipped the cup, and now I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame, and we're gonna take it out. One, two, three. That. Can you see that? I will get better at my filming and lighting and all that fun stuff. Uh, so you'll have that to look forward to. But look at those cells. So that's what the silicone does is because acrylic paints are water based, the silicone will cause that sort of resist effect. And uh, the other trick to doing this is to not let all the beautiful stuff fall off. Um, and that's the other thing that, that you're going to just learn by experience and working with this because um, the, 
depending on which way you let the paint flow, depends on the shapes it's going to make. Now I'm bursting open some of those bigger cells, um, but I really like the contrast here between the white and the purples and the blues. Um, And there's no rule that says you have to cover the entire canvas. So if you didn't want to lose something, you could just stop here. But I'm going to try and... And what I'm doing here is I'm just using the paint to wet the canvas so that it will... Because otherwise it's going to want to pool up going to want to resist the canvas, especially since this is like a more of a student grade canvas. We're using Artist Loft, um, which is fine, but it is going to, so hopefully you can see that. And that's the pour. I'm going to clean up and see y'all next time. Bye. Hey, Kurot. How you doing? Hey, cool. Hey, how you doing?